In few days, the Bitcoin price crashed from 9,000 to 5,000, actually from around 3,800 in deep. So, have you learned your lesson? Welcome to my very first series of all the assets in the world and today we'll be talking about Bitcoin. So the question before is directed not to professional traders, supporter or technologies but to you who are only here to get rich quick. Therefore, here are some questions I recommend you to answer before diving into the market again, especially for you who haven't dived into the market but considering so. I will not go into the details of these questions because I want to make a short video. The details will be some other. Do you know how the current global monetary system is created and how it works? To understand the significance of Bitcoin, you need to know how the current monetary system works. How is your money created? Where does it come from? Who controls it? You at least need to know the Bretton Woods system in the 70s and how it was replaced by the freely floating fiat currency. For me, I watched Mike Maloney's Hidden Secret of Money and there you will learn how President Nixon back then took off the dollar from the gold standard and now the dollar has been decreasing in purchasing power since then. Second question, have you studied some previous monetary crisis? The must that I recommend you is the fall of the Roman Empire because of the debasement of their currency. And then there's 1873 Long Depression, the recession in 1973, 1997 Asian financial crisis, the dot-com bubble, and finally that is connected to us today and especially for Bitcoin is the 20, 2008 banking crisis. And today there is Venezuela, Zimbabwe, there is having a currency inflation, everybody is a trillionaire, you know what one trillion dollar can purchase you, maybe one meal, one bread, or even just a glass of water. Anyway, you know what is happening today. The third question, do you know the history behind the invention of Bitcoin? Other than its innovation, early Bitcoin was created to free the monetary system from the monopoly of the central banks. At least from what I think, based on the early message in the Genesis blockchain. You can see that it says the times 03 January 2009, canceller on brink of second bailout for banks. So go back to the past and go to the inventor's shoes and think why they decided to build Bitcoin in the first place. Andreas Atonopoulos explains very well in his book and talk the internet of money. This is where my stance in Bitcoin changes. Question 4 or 4th question. Do you know how Bitcoin works? At least watch a short video how Bitcoin works. 5th question. Do you know the benefit of Bitcoin? There is the novel blockchain technology which keeps the transaction history almost incorruptible. Bitcoin is also borderless, open, permissionless. Not only it is open source, but anyone can carry a Swiss bank in their pocket without discrimination and permission. It is almost decentralized, uncensorable, and unconfiscatable. Almost, not 100%. Sixth question, do you know the challenges of Bitcoin? The main one I think is the whales. 
means that the Bitcoin wealth is currently centralized. So ma the majority of us have one less than one Bitcoin and only like 0.06% have more than 100 Bitcoin. Can you imagine that? The gap between the rich and the poor is so big. And, this, and the second one is Bitcoin haters. Bitcoin has no value. Bitcoin is dangerous. Bitcoin are for criminals. Bitcoin are for pornographers. Bitcoin is a scam. Bitcoin are for drug dealers and direct competition against the Fed, central banks, or other authorities. Bitcoin is illegal. Why is Bitcoin if we have Visa, we have Vimo and stuff? Say yes to blockchain, but no to Bitcoin. Bitcoin is going to zero and will not survive. The people won. The Supreme Court leave the crypto ban rule of India Central Bank. Later on, India Central Bank are fighting back against the Supreme Court. And finally, one of my favorite quote, this Bitcoin stuff, they are taking on the Fed and they are messing into their territory. That's like me, a real estate entrepreneur taking on McDonald's. So until you understand them, you should not buy more Bitcoin because not only you are leaving yourself vulnerable, your future actions will burden the entire cryptocurrency community and those who really need cryptocurrency like the unbanks, the discriminated, technologies, etc. So the best approach is to educate yourself first. And I hope you have a good day. If you enjoy this content, please click the like button. And if this one is beneficial, if you want more content like this, do subscribe and I'll see you some.